So uh, my name is Jamie Ching. I'm with uh, Entropic Communications. We're actually the, uh, the computer chip manufacturer for Mocha. So our computer chip is actually in all of the set-top boxes, a lot of the uh, uh, adapters and retail products that you might see out there. Sort of the general parts of Mocha. But basically, uh, Mocha technology is leveraging existing coax in the home to carry IP traffic. So anything, basically anything that you can carry over an Ethernet cable, you can carry over Mocha which is the idea that every 97% of the homes in the U.S. and uh, a good portion of the international homes have coax already built into the home. And so now you can use that coax to carry Ethernet traffic. And so um, you're looking at, uh, it's not tied to any specific service provider, so you could have cable, satellite, telco in there, and it'll, uh, Mocha will ride along on the coax without disturbing any of the video traffic. Um, you don't need to pull um, wire. It saves you time and money. You can do an installation and get in there real quick. Uh, use the adapters instead of having to pull uh, Ethernet uh, wire through the home, and it allows a lot, a lot easier install without destroying, you know, walls and, and reconstructing the, the home to get the. Uh... And so, like I said, Mocha technology occupies the unused frequency spectrum on the coax um, that's adjacent to either the cable signal or the satellite signal. So in the case of satellite signal, satellite signals, the broadcast signals are above uh, one gigahertz. And so the MOCA signal is, is actually positioned below it at about 600 megahertz. If you're looking at the uh, cable signal is all below one gigahertz, the, the MOCA signal is above one gigahertz. And so there's actually two different types of products, one for satellite and one for cable. And so, um, yeah, there's a lot of great features about MOCA, 175 megabits per second total throughput, this actual bandwidth that you could use on the network. Um, low packet loss rate, meaning that, uh, that uh, uh, the packets get through real quick, so it's great for video. Uh, low latency, so it's great for like gaming, because there's a, lot, a good uh, reaction rate. And then low jitter, meaning again, a uh, really uh, robust signal that you receive. And so here's a, uh, the typical applications, obviously. Um, extending internet throughout the home over a wired uh, network. Um, streaming HD video throughout the home, obviously, and then uh, in any retrofit or new install of, uh, of uh, IP uh, equipment. Mocha is also great for it. Okay, so one thing to remember uh, about Mocha is it's, uh, Mocha is actually a peer-to-peer -peer network, or also called a mesh network. And so um, one device uh, or one Mocha node, meaning a set-top box or an adapter, talks to all the rest of them on the network. So uh, if you come in and you establish uh, two Mocha nodes, say one from uh, the router and then uh, the other node in the um, living room to get the internet from your home office to the living room, then any subsequent node that you add to that, um, all the devices can talk to each other. So there's not a pairing that revolves. You don't need to transmit and receive. They all talk to them. And you can do that up to 16 devices on the network total. And so all 16 of the devices can talk to each other. Um, you can have unlimited number of ethernet ports uh, for those particular nodes, and so it's it's a really robust uh, situation. Okay. And so, um, yeah, not going to get too much into this, but the uh, the Mocha network communicates over 50 megahertz uh, channels that are that don't interfere with the uh, with the cable or satellite signal, and it's coexistent with all the uh, operators that are out there, and we've checked with all of them, and they all approve and certify the the Mocha devices. Okay. And so there's four steps to installing Mocha. We call it uh, ACIT. So it's assess, correct, install, and test. And so it's an easy acronym. So the first thing is to assess uh, when you come into the home and you want to check out what the uh, coax situation is. Um, the only pro uh, Mocha is designed to go through splitters. So any normal splitters or RG59 coax cable, any pretty much any type of coax cable, uh, Mocha really works well. Through. The only thing it really it might have a problem with is amplifiers. So you want to make sure that you have uh, uh, any amplifiers that are in the paths of, uh, of rooms that you want to connect together, you want to make sure they're Mocha compatible amplifiers. And our friends at Holland Electronics are one of the manufacturers of these Mocha uh, amplifiers. And pretty much all of the cable guys are using Mocha compatible amplifiers now. And then uh, you can have, you know, like I said, RG59. If you want to upgrade the cable, that's fine as well. But usually uh, Mocha does well with the older cable. Uh, 300 feet max between the, um, between the tap and the first splitter. And then other 300 between jumps. And you want to make sure the max attenuation between uh, uh, the splitters are uh, 25 dB. But most of the time, it's not a problem for installing. 
So this is an example of, uh, of a home with uh, a typical home trunk and branch wiring. We have something called a POE filter, and the POE stands for point of entry. Um, also might stand for power over ethernet, but it, all, it stands for point of entry filter in the Mocha sense. And typically, you, um, and Holland might uh, show a POE filter, you'll be able to see that. Uh, you put a POE filter at the uh, entrance to the home, and that actually helped the Mocha signal by reflecting it back into the home, and also not let it leak out of the home. Typically, it doesn't have enough power to go into any any place else on the uh, on the toward the plant. But um, it's 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 also a good the POE filter is a good idea to to be able to uh, keep the maximum power within the home uh, setting. Uh, here's an example of where you might have a, a amplifier in the in the network. So you want to make sure that uh, uh, the amplifier is not in this case, the amplifier would not allow room one to connect to the other rooms in the home. And so you might want to take that out if you want to put something into room one. Okay. And so uh, in terms of a correction, um, you want to replace uh, the amp with a uh, Mocha compatible amp. And the, the thing about the Mocha compatible amp, it lets the Mocha signal back through the amplifier without uh, affecting the uh, amplification process. And, uh, uh, operation of the of the amplifier, okay. And so these are the these are the frequency bands. I think I uh, told you before that uh, Mocha frequency di uh, changes depending on whether you have satellite or cable. And so you see here, uh, D band is cable. And so we put the Mocha signal above one gigahertz because the cable signal is below. And then on the E band, which is Direct TV, that's at uh, 500 to 600 megahertz. And actually, there's a new F band for the new uh, dish hopper, which is, uh, um, they use um, 800, around 800 megahertz. And so those are three, uh, three different bands. You have to be kind of recognized. And here's a typical topology for the installation. I think uh, we talked about the Mocha filter there. Okay. Uh, some other installation uh, considerations. Um, Yep, like I said, 175 megabits of aggregate network network traffic. So that send and receive from all of the all of the devices should add up to 175 max. Um, 16 nodes. Um, typical data rate for Mocha uh, internet traffic is 112 megabits. So you know, service provider probably use about 40 megabits, 40 50 megabits already, and so you got about 112. And then there's uh, there's some encryption capability as well as some uh, uh, password. Uh, capabilities as well that Mocha has.